thought today, October 4th, 2011, would be the perfect day to start doing this kind of video because today is the first day that the Lion King, both 3D and uh, 2D theatrical prints, are available on 1080, in 1080p uh, Blu rays, unfortunately, because I'm sort of out of money. I don't have the Blu-ray to talk about, but I do have this. The Lion King Laserdisc. This is the standard pressing. Maybe I'll turn on a light so you get a better look at it. This is the standard CLV press that we pulled out of the record protection sleeve. It's uh, one of the earlier discs to make use of the early Dolby Digital soundtracks. You can see the AC3 Dolby, Dolby Surround AC3 Digital logo there. It sports a nice THX mastered print. And overall, even though it's mastered entirely in CLV, to the fact that it's one side, and the box set is, uh, I, believe it's, I believe it's three sides. I actually don't have the box set. This movie is uh, quite quite a look around Laserdisc. It's one of the more one of the most owned discs on the format for good reason too. The colors pop off the screen. The soundtrack is nice and vibrant. And uh, even though I've only listened to the AC3 tracks once, it uses surrounds effectively, especially for a movie that came out as early as this one. And overall, it's uh, one of the few uh, discs that I would consider reference quality out of all of my animation discs because animation I don't know if you guys know it but animation looks stunning on Laserdisc so you can see the front here you've got uh, all the main characters established you've got Baby Simba, Mufasa, Scar, the monkey guy I don't remember his name it's a the movie is pre presented in widescreen and it's approximately uh, 185 to 1. It's its, it's theatrical ratio. Unfortunately, this laser disc is uh, not presented at the original animated radio ratio of 166 to 1, like most of my other Disney laser discs, such as the uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame and uh, Pocahontas, because they were all animated using the Caps animation system, which, of course had a rendering ratio of 166 to 1 which is I feel like it's a little it's uh doesn't quite fill out the screen on Animorgan movies I, I know well, my cousin Sean will dispute this with his Lion King DVD that uses the original aspect ratio but uh I watched Treasure Planet in 166 to 1 and Animorphic and it didn't stretch out the screen it's more of a 4x3 letterboxing I think so you look here you can see it's split up into 27 chapters. There's no extras. There's no commentary track. There's uh, not really much to this movie other than, well, it's The Lion King. And for years, in the years since its release, actually, I should say, The Lion King has truly been synonymous with all things Disney. It's the highest grossing animated movie, hand-drawn animated movie of all time. And in its recent three-week theatrical re-release in 3D, it was the highest grossing movie of the month. Which is uh, pretty, uh, pretty spectacular considering the age of the movie and the fact that almost no one I know went to see it. I know there was a select crowd, but I didn't actually go see it. But, uh, The Lion King is uh, fairly popular, and it's been synonymous with Disney. I mean, when I started collecting Disney Laserdiscs back in uh, February of 2011, The Lion King was the first disc that came to mind. And while it's not cer certainly not my favorite, as many will be able to tell you, it is probably one of Disney's more masterful movies. It's uh, supposedly a re-imaging re of the tale of Hamlet, where uh, 
I'm not familiar with Hamlet, so, so don't flame me, but uh, I, I feel like the story is very clever. Some of the jokes are very clever. I enjoy most of the uh, scenes with Timon and Pumbaa. I think they're the, highlight, the highlighted uh, characters of the story other than uh, Simba and Scar. My favorite scene, however, is the uh, scene where Timon and Pumbaa dress in drag and go hula dancing. But, uh, this is probably one of the cheapest laser discs out there. I picked this one up for, uh, three dollars with, like, two bucks shipping back in February. It hasn't really gone up much in price. However, if you're going to go for a laser disc of the Lion King, especially now that the Blu ray has been released to top all of the Lion King releases, I would probably go for the box set. Which is a, uh, I think it's a three disc CAV set with six lithographs and maybe a book, but I'm not positive. I don't actually have it. However, in terms of collector's value, this one is not the most collectible laser disc. It's fairly common. It's just about as common as uh, the Toy Story CLV pressing and the Aladdin CLV pressing. But it's uh, definitely a must have. I mean, come on, let's look at it. Who doesn't get goosebumps when they think about the stampede scene where Mufasa is trampled by uh, an an antelope? I antelopes, I think that's the term. Or uh, cringe and fear is the resemblance as the Nazi resembling a hyena's march and step during Be Prepared. It's uh, one of Disney's better movies from the 90s. It's probably definitely their most popular. And uh, I figured I'd uh, give you guys a look. I could, uh, I've uploaded some clips to my Laserdisc channel. They're not totally rendered at the nicest uh, quality due to my DVD recorder being competent. But uh, I figured I'd uh, let you guys know what I thought. I would uh, definitely recommend this Laserdisc to anyone who doesn't have it. However, I would easily recommend the box set in a heartbeat, even though I don't have it myself. Because, well, I'm a Laserdisc collector, and I, I prefer the rarer edition, the rarest print of each movie. Which is why, I don't know if you can see it over there, I have all my box sets. And all of my discs over here, all of my rare ones are in sleeves. And by rare, I don't necessarily mean, like, uncommon. Like, uh, there are, there are, actually that's exactly what I mean, as rare as in, there's not very many, not just ex it's expensive, because if it was, uh, rated on the expensiveness, we'd have discs like, uh, Tron, which is one of the most owned box sets, being, uh, really, ex being really rare. But back to the Lion King, on a final note, not a huge fan of the Lion King songs. I I feel that like they don't quite capture the uh, cheeriness and memorability that uh, later movies such as Pocahontas and earlier movies such as uh, Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin have. However, if you're if you're watching this video to hear about the Lion King and how bad it is, you're in the wrong place because I absolutely love this film. There is a there's a reason it uh, made. I think uh, it's like uh, it made like seven hundred thirty-five million dollars at the box office, and it is a worthy laziness to have in your collection. I know I keep on contradicting myself. I'm aware, but I get kind of antsy when I do these videos. So hopefully it'll improve with time. See you guys next time on the Laserdisc retrospective series, which may or may not take off. Who knows? I'll see you guys later.